What is MOA and do you need to know much about it? Hi, I'm Tina from Target Tamers, and today I'm briefly going over MOA to hopefully make it easier on beginners to understand the terminology and what it is. So what does MOA stand for? MOA stands for minute of angle. And what is minute of angle? It's an angular measuring system that we use to make scope adjustments. So a minute of angle is 1 60th of one degree. So we know that there's 360 degrees in a circle and each one of those has 60 minutes. So we're dealing with very minute angles and yet we can use its linear equivalent to predict the point of impact downrange. So what is its linear equivalent? So one true MOA is equal to 1.0472 inches at 100 yards. For most of us, we're gonna drop that 0.0472 inches off and just round it. So with this modified rule, one minute of angle is equal to one inch at 100 yards. So one MOA at 100 yards is one inch. One MOA at 200 yards is two inches. One MOA at 300 yards is three inches. One MOA at 400 yards is four inches and so on. Can you see where this is going? It's still important to remember that one MOA is still one MOA regardless of the distance. As you can see, the linear size of one minute of angle is going to change as that distance changes. So how do we actually translate this information over to using an MOA rifle scope? So an MOA rifle scope or red dot sight will have turrets that are calibrated for a set amount of adjustment values. So that means that each click of the turret will equal so much of an MOA. For example, turrets with one MOA adjustments means that each click of the turret will change the point of impact one inch at 100 yards. Turrets with half MOA adjustments means that each click will change the point of impact half an inch at 100 yards. Turrets with a quarter MOA adjustments means that each click will change the point of impact a quarter inch at 100 yards. So this shows how we use MOA to manipulate our scopes to hit the target where we want to hit it. Is that 0.0472 inch difference important? Well, the difference between adjusting with true MOA versus the rounded calculation can make a big difference as distance grows. So remember that true minute of angle sticks to the rule that one MOA is equal to 1.0472 inches at 100 yards. This would be the most accurate rule to follow in long range shooting. Why? Because that seemingly small 0.0472 inch difference actually becomes a very big deal at let's say a thousand yards. So let's take a hypothetical rig, a hypothetical setup, say with 367.9 inches of bullet drop at a thousand yards using true MOA, 367.9 divided by 10.472 equals 35.1 minutes of adjustment needed. Now using rounded calculations, 367.9 divided by 10 equals 36.79. So let's call it 36.8 minutes of adjustment needed. So which one do you use? We've got 35.1 versus 36.8 minutes of adjustment. Now that 1.7 MOA difference is actually very significant because you're looking at at either a 17 to 17.8 inch difference at a thousand yards. Why is that? How could it be that big? Because one minute of angle at a thousand yards is equal to 10.472 inches. So yeah, I'd say that that 0.0472 inch difference is extremely important to uh, count for as distance becomes a part of the equation in your long range shooting. What about red dot sights? Well, red dots have adjustments in minutes of angle too, so same rules apply, but you might have also noticed that red dot sizes are measured in MOA as well. So for example, the Vortex Strike Fire 2 has a four minute dot versus the one minute center floating dot in this rifle scope. So what does this mean? It means that at 100 yards, the four minute dot in this red dot sight is gonna cover up four inches of the target at 100 yards, while the one minute dot in this scope will only cover up one inch of the target at the same distance. Okay, let's recap. What is MOA, minute of angle? It's an angular measuring system. Why do we use it? We use it to make sure that our point of aim and our point of impact match. So in other words, to hit the target where we intend to hit it. How do we use it? We manipulate 
calibrated turrets to compensate for shooting variables. So hopefully you've learned a few new things about MOA today, or at least have been able to understand it a little bit better. This is just a quick overview, but we have a very comprehensive and in-depth written guide all about everything MOA. That's in a link for you down below. Thanks for joining me today. And don't forget to like, subscribe and get outside.